Thank you, Jack. In hopes of improving safety measures, the Oklahoma County Jail says it plans to start using some new technology soon. Fox 25's David Chasanoff saw this device up close. David, tell us, what is it? Adam and Wendy, the jail plans to start using electric gloves to de-escalate situations before they get out of hand. Ma'am, let go of the table for me. Nope. Ma'am, let go of the table. Let go of the table. Okay, now. okay. <laughs> Coming soon to the Oklahoma County Jail, a device that can zap inmates at a rate of at least 210 volts. And we usually get compliance within three seconds with our product, main product called the GLOVE. It stands for Generated Low Output Voltage Emitter, so none of our products are pushing over 380 volts. Justin Morris says with the way the technology is used, it can't hurt anyone. We're only grabbing enough motor units across the skin to stimulate the peripheral um, nervous system, just the sensory portion of that. So we don't cause any injury with our device. In a situation where an inmate is resisting but isn't hurting anyone, Morris says the glove would not be used on their face, throat, chest, or groin. But there are exceptions. If it's lethal force or somebody's trying to punch me in the face, that's um, accelerated threat, so I could use it to put it in the face to either gain control or just get distance and go ahead and draw another, another tool that I think might work better. Jail CEO Brandy Gardner says the device is a helpful resource to have, considering 65% of her staff are female. I think it's important that we provide them tools that help equalize, um, you know, when they have to deal with uses of force situations. I think it's safer for them to utilize that uh, and uh, it's safer for our residents here. According to Garner in jail situations, OCDC is considering giving an inmate verbal commands as step one, and step two would be using the technology if the inmate doesn't listen. It's much safer, in my opinion, than just going hands-on without any other tool available. Jail staff let news crews test out the device for themselves, and Fox 25 photographer Travis Stewart was a brave volunteer. So uh, take your hands off the table. No, sir. All right. <laughs> I'm sorry. No, you're good. I felt so bad, but Travis is okay. I promise he's right behind the camera right now. Show yourself. There he is. He is okay, everyone. But Garner says these gloves should start being used in the next coming weeks. Reporting live in Oklahoma City, David Chazanoff, Fox 25 News.